All right, here we are with another Mega Man Maker episode. We will be continuing on with the Mega Man Rebooted series, part two here, with eight plays and a score of neutral, created by Tyler Bot. Yeah, and yeah, I booted this one up as well. <laughs> like I have been doing that a lot recently. Uh, I, I'm not happy with my commentary or whatever, and I just end up restarting. Um, yeah, it is a little bit annoying, but what can you do? But yeah, I've, I've been really looking forward to playing this stage here, and yeah, like I saw over on the forums like Spheria did not like this one as much as the first one, Cephalus quite liked this one it seemed like, so yeah, and in my eyes I think that I will be liking this one more than I will be liking the first one there, but yeah, the first one had its strong stages too. I remember in that one I liked the electricity stage or section and the... Uh, uh, the cutter section was all right, but I thought that was the weakest in terms of gimmicks. And then we had, you know, the blast stage, where yeah, that one was the one with the all the awesome time bomb, you know, gimmicks there. So yeah, <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, we do keep the weapons from the last stage here, and yeah, we're once again in the light tub. And you know, I have to say, the light tub. I wasn't the biggest fan of it in the first episode, but it is actually kind of growing on me a little bit here. <laughs> I gotta be honest with you, it's growing a bit on me. And remove the mouse cursor, boy. What the hell are you thinking? Hmm. Okay, nice, we have these bounder enemies here, so yeah, we gotta be a little bit careful with them. If they're going to appear in more similar fashions, like they go through the ladder stairs, so yeah, you have to kind of try and read how they will move, so yeah, very interesting, um, and yeah, it's worth to point out, um, I did start with a construction <laughs> site there, dang it, I jumped right on that one, uh, the first time, so I will probably be doing that one last this time, you know, just so that uh, we get to see the two fresh new ones here, or maybe, maybe I'll do fire first, then construction, then ice, ice is the one I'm looking forward to the most to see like but yeah enough about that um holy crap dude that is a scary room let's just uh whoa whoa dude that was slick dodging <laughs> slick ass dodging is there something oh wait i can't open this one i don't have the freaking yeah for some reason i thought i had the uh i thought i had the yeah camera already but no yeah that's in the construction <laughs> uh, in the construction site there. Oh yeah, and I see something here. Um, this might, I'll just point this out in case Tyler did not know, or in case you did not know about this Tyler. Um, we gotta be very care very careful with having vaults, you know, up close to the list like this, because yeah, I just wanted to show that off. That very easily happens if a player is not like aware of that, and yeah, they can very easily be screwed over. So yeah, I just wanted to point that out there since I saw it there in case you didn't know you might you might have already experienced it it would not surprise me if you noticed during it <laughs> I would not be surprised if you noticed it during playtesting but yeah still um, just wanted to showcase it there just in case you know and to be fair there might also you know be other people watching who did not know about that then yeah <laughs> then at least you know somebody learned something Whoa, oh my god, dude that room is intense or this room I should say holy smokes Yeah, I'm really curious. I wonder if there is an e-tank or something in there. There might actually be one <laughs> I might have to go back and check that later on Very nice Hmm, you know what? Can we? Oh, no, we can't do that, but yeah, nice. We can actually do that. Very cool. But yeah, let's not do all the damage with that. <laughs> this is actually a pretty cool setup. So you go here, go around and shoot him. <laughs> pretty cool, pretty cool. There, there is a firewall coming! Whoa! Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh my god, there is an ice barrier here. Okay. Oh! Dude, how am I alive? Oh my god, I'm so screwed, aren't I? 
I might be fine. Oh my god. Dude, I was like pixels away from dying. Okay, run, run. Okay, actually, okay, <laughs> okay. I thought for sure there would be another firewall coming here, <laughs> so I just kind of panicked. When I saw when I saw the checkpoint down there in the left corner, I thought, okay, there is another firewall. There is another firewall. But yeah, no, that is definitely not the case. Good, good. Um, oh yeah, this here is nice too. You see that fire dispenser down there, like in the wall there? Like, now, if the player brushes up against the wall here, you won't be hurt by that little protruding flame pillar sticking out there, you know. You know, these little flames, you know. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, I'm sure you understand what I'm saying. I hope. <laughs> Damn it! How did I get hit there? <laughs> that was so stupid of me. Why did I get hit there? Come on. Taking stupid damage. Yeah, <laughs> that's a phrase, I guess, that I've <laughs> kind of coined. Uh, <laughs> taking stupid damage. Yeah, the bombs takes very... Or the bomb, the bomb steals very well with those flame pillar guys there. Okay, how do we do this? We just... Gotta see the window. Okay, we're safe up there. So I'm just going to rush up here where we are safe. And then we'll just go on. Let's wait. Okay, very nice. We have some nice light platforming here. Nothing too deadly. You know, these guys only deal three damage, I think, if they hit you. Let's actually test it. Yeah, that looks like three. Um, hmm. This here looks very interesting, though. It kind of looks like a machine or something. Look at that! <laughs> This here, it looks like a machine that you have to go through, or something, or rather. <laughs> very cool, very cool stuff. But yeah, nothing too bad here. Like, the fire segment has been pretty easy all around. Like, well, that's actually not true. <laughs> Those first screens there with the hot tent, you know, and the oil, that was very... Yeah, that was very intense. And the flick, freaking flame wall, like, what, what? Yeah, what am I thinking about? This has been very... Very hardy. <laughs> like, yeah. Just a couple of minutes ago, I was almost dead, but somehow I've already managed to forget. <laughs> <You know? laughs> oh, interesting. Okay, ouch. Okay, okay. So, you can get damage from here, but it's going to be harder to hit you, so. Probably it's best to just, you know, bait the shutter here, go up here, and yeah. Nice. Very cool, very cool. Wow, that was poorly timed by me. Okay, let's just not die before the checkpoint. That would be terrible. Perfectly timed. And this should be the boss. And it's Flame Man. Okay, okay. He only takes one damage. Whoa, they took two damage in the first uh, part there. But in here they only take one. That's interesting. Okay. But yeah, I should still have him. Flame Man is not too dangerous, although this custom-made room might give me some issues with him. Who knows? Yeah, look at that. I did not really know how to react to that. And wow, I actually... <laughs> I actually only had myself to blame for that. that <laughs> I jumped right up into this freaking flame there. But yeah, now surely that we have full health, we can easily do this, right? Great. Maybe not. Whoa, okay. Okay, it's actually very kind to me now with the pattern here. It's just kind of sitting there. But yeah, here's a few things that he'll do. Either he'll just stand there and shoot, you know, which is the best pattern you can get. Or he'll jump at you, which is the second best in my opinion. And yeah, the most dangerous one is where he sticks the freaking hand in the ground there and, you know, just starts shooting up fire through the floor. I always have issues dodging that. And of course, you know, you can't shoot through that fire either, which is very annoying. But yeah, overall, pretty easy boss. Even a, in a room that makes him a little bit harder here. Uh, he still isn't too big of an issue to deal with here. And you know, he's almost dead. Let's see if we have his weakness here. Nope. Wow, is he immune to that or was that the flame? Yeah, he's immune to that. Okay. Boom! <laughs> okay, the bomb doesn't do much. Boom! 
Boom! Nice! Okay. Blew him up. Blew him up. And back to the freaking lab we go. Okay, we got a key. We got a key. You got a key. Um. Getting this. Or, yeah, we'll open it up partially anyway. Mm. Okay. <laughs> could, we could open that up. Very nice. And yeah, let's just get the construction over it. I did notice here, I really like this first section in the construction because. That, yeah, light is here. The first screen here is with the cave, and as you walk all the way over to the right, there is the freaking... Yeah, there, there's another... Well, not the cave, but another waterfall that it looks really cool. And yeah, we have these little buildings here, you know, in the middle. It's just very nice. Um, oh, and yeah, look at this. The fire is actually very strong against these guys. <laughs> wow, dude, this makes this super easy compared to doing it buster only. Uh, okay, but you know what? Let's not sp spam that. Uh, I say as I pick out <laughs> an even more powerful weapon against Picket Man. Um, yeah, bombs are actually really strong against Mets. And yeah, Picket Man, like, see, yeah, it just pierces armor and takes care of them. It's a very, very good weapon against the construction uh, site here, I guess. <laughs> the construction path. So yeah, if you're having trouble with this part for whatever reason, you know. Feel free to bust out the bombs, I guess. And you know what? I'd like to try and see if this if he's weak to the bombs. Nope, he's actually immune to it. Okay. <laughs> this guy though takes two damage. Huh. I wonder if that's just a mess up, perhaps, on Tyler's part. Like maybe the flame man is supposed to take two damage, but he accidentally, you know, set it to one or something when he reworked the stage. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Or maybe he does intend for it to take only one damage from the buster. Like, what do I know? <laughs> maybe Tyler can clarify. But either way, I don't really care. It was just something I yeah, uh, noticed there. Ooh, nice. We can actually go down here. I think I will go down here. Ooh. Okay. So, yeah, this series is very reminiscent of Tyler's older stage. And we can actually kill this guy here. What? No, we can't kill him! Oh my god, we can't kill him! Jesus! Well, actually we can with the flame weapon, but yeah, that's not gonna be very ammo efficient. Yeah. That there is a very old setup from Tyler's previous... Previous? <laughs> from Tyler's previous stages, where you basically have a met uh, or a picket man up here, and you have to hit the time bomb and, you know, just run the clock out on, on him so that you can escape the room, yeah. And there we have some drainage pipes <laughs> leaking water down here. Huh, very interesting. You know, I didn't actually... Let me just go out here and look again. Okay, yeah, so here we are in the mountains and yeah, we're coming to a cave. Very, very interesting. You know, let's just <laughs> bust the bombs out on this fool here. Boom. Oh my, okay, 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 okay. Get the buster out <laughs> so that you can fight these guys properly. And yeah, I kind of want that. Let's get it. <laughs> Actually, it's kind of funny. If you go down for that health and the <laughs> and the met uh, shoots you there, you you'll lose two health, <laughs> or well, you know, you'll you'll go even basically. Oh my god! How did he get me? <laughs> can we actually? There we go. Nice. I would like to refill my bombs here because I'm running low and it's very nice to have in here. Although maybe, yeah, not so nice in here perhaps because we're mainly fighting... Whoa, we're mainly fighting the owls in here. Okay, you know what? Whoa, oh my goodness! Wow, dude, that was nicely played by me there. <laughs> I gotta pat myself on the back. Very nice. I like that bad placement there. <laughs> Gotta be quick with the pulling trigger. Oh my god. You gotta be quick pulling the trigger. Oh my god, dude, that was so bad. Ah, oh, man. I did not really pay attention to the bats there. And yeah, I just screwed it up majorly. Let's see here. What did I do wrong? We gotta just. Yeah, don't jump ahead here. Oh my god. Yeah, I, that's probably what you just should do. If you do mess up killing him, you know quickly then you should just take the hit if you just 
try and go forward, you'll just forfeit your life instead. No. Interesting. Whoa, okay. Yeah, and that <laughs> this is also a very old trope, I guess you could say, from Tyler Bot having the Picket men, you know, hidden behind bomb barriers, too. I recall that from older stages as well. <laughs> but yeah, like, pretty interesting. Uh, the construction site is pretty interesting, I have to say. Um, I definitely am looking forward to playing the ice section here. Yeah, this guy also takes two damage, as you can see. Oh my god, dude! I'm still getting my ass kicked, though. What the hell? No, 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 no. Okay, seriously, don't die here. <laughs> Do not die here, man. Please, please. Uh, yo, 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 yo. No! Oh my god, I suck at Mega Man. Urgh. I suck at it, guys. I suck at it. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Let's not take stupid damage here. <laughs> Stupid damage. Okay, watch me do it flawless this time without taking any damage. Nope. Okay, as soon as I open my mouth, I yeah. As soon as as soon as I open my mouth, he just makes a comeback <laughs> on my ass. Dude, what? What am I doing? I'm sucking. <laughs> I'm just sucking the big one. Well, at least we beat him. <laughs> what the hell? Um, did we need this weapon in the fire section? For something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, there was that crate I wanted to try blow open. And actually, yeah, we, we're gonna like, get this one too. But yeah, I'll I'll cut back at any interesting parts where we need to use weapons. So yeah, I'll see you in a bit there. Okay, so we're back here again. Let's see here. Ooh, nice. Okay, so yeah, there was something hidden in there. A big ass health globe, but yeah, I'll cut back if something else um, interesting shows up here on this path, so see you in a bit. Wow. <laughs> oy, 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 oy. Okay, just ride this slowly now, you, <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> Dang it, we need the ice pack! Dang! <laughs> I backtrack all the way over here just to find out I needed the ice weapon. Dang it. Dang it, man. Dang it to heck. Oh, man. And dude, this is so close. Wow. What the actual heck? Am I dead? I'm dead. <laughs> oh. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. Well, see you back at the light up. See you back at the light up. All right. Yeah, I remembered correctly. <laughs> Here at this part here, this is where we'll cut back. Um, yeah, here. This is where the M tank is. And yeah, I'm backtracking here. Like, I noticed that this weapon too, like, much like the hyper bombs, like, it works wonders against, you know, shielded enemies. It just pierces right on through. So yeah, as you can see here, like, same with Picket Man. It does not deal as much damage, I don't think, as the hyper bomb, but, you know, it's more precise, I guess you could say. <laughs> Oh man, look at this. This is a nice tower of sorts here. <laughs> but yeah, finally we have that. Like, let's see. I believe this... Yeah, I believe this path here led us back to the light lab. I hope. We'll find out. Yeah, very nice. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. And now for the much anticipated <laughs> ice path here. Let's hope it will be... Yeah, let's hope it will be very interesting. This is where I have all my hopes pinned on for this stage. Um, I have to say though, I so far I like this stage better than I did the first part. Um, part one, you know, the cutter stage was all right, but it wasn't too involving, you know, in terms of gimmicks. Um, but then the elect path, you know, with the gimmick blocks, um, with the gimmick blocks, with the yoke blocks, uh, stepped it up. And you know, in the third segment, you know, when I did the time bombs, that's where it really got exciting to me. So yeah, all around it was a good stage, but I feel like this stage here has been more exciting to play through, you know, more deadly setups and, you know, more, um, what should you say, 
the gimmick items has been more involving um, in all stages. You see, like it's uh, it's more even. You know, I don't feel like any of the stages in this one are, uh, you know, subpar to the other ones. I definitely have enjoyed all of them here in this one, which is very nice. But yeah, I saw the screen is or the gifs from Cephalus on the forums, and yeah, I really thought this um, ice path here looked very cool. So yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to see what we have in here in terms of gimmick usage. And yeah, as we can, could expect here, like we have some nice introduction here. You know, we can shoot them. Oh yeah, this here is one of the rooms from the gif. Um, how do we want to deal with this? We cannot actually shoot this one because then <laughs> we'll just open up down to the laser. That's no. No bueno. Um, we could just shoot this once and then jump up on it. And dang it! I should have jumped there. Oh my god, I jumped too too late. You know what? I wanna try that again. I'm sorry, but I wanna try it again. Let's let me just cut back. Okay, we're back here again. Okay. And maybe oh, he's gone. Okay, now we are here for the third time like <laughs> I you know as I said I would cut back and come back here But then when I came back here the shield attack is kind of bugged out here and you know despawned. so yeah, I had to <laughs> Come back here a third time. Um, so yeah, let's see here now. Can we can we deal with this in a good way here? Um, If we shoot that once Ooh, I wonder actually This here is probably a good solution if we destroy all of these and jump and jump. Ooh, wow, look at that. Very cool, very cool. Um, whoa, dude, that's some sick dodging. <laughs> yeah, see, like, I don't know, like, I know, I, I noticed that there was somebody, I think it was Spheria, who did not really like that, or, you know, thought it was a bit too hard, but, yeah, I, I definitely is hard. <laughs> the, 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 it definitely is, I do not disagree with him on that part, but, it definitely isn't impossible either, like, I don't think, yeah, I don't think it's, like, unfair or anything, but it is hard, that's for sure. Okay, let's see here, what do we do here? Whoa, okay, okay, gotta move, get rid of him, very nice, we do not need that, nope. Okay, okay, here's what I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of this, just walk out here, whoa, scary as Yairi, <laughs> he just came on there, wow. But yeah, as I expected, this probably is going to be my favorite segment here. This is looking really cool so far. Nice! See? See? I got rid of him. That was planned. Very nice. Ooh. Shit! Oh my god! Whoa! Dude, that was crazy! That was actually crazy! <laughs> Man! Wow, dude, I... Yeah. The, this is definitely, I, I'm calling it already, this is definitely cool, the coolest section here. <laughs> definitely the coolest section, there is no disputing it. Okay. It's official, this is the coolest section. <laughs> wow, look at that. Okay, very nice bomb usage. Why did I, wait. I did not pay attention, what did I get in that teleporter? I just, <laughs> I did not pay any attention. Oh, I got a key. I got a key in there. Okay, dude. I don't, I don't even remember what the room looked like. Wait. Can we go back? Can we go back up there? I actually did not pay any attention. <laughs> Seriously, I did not pay any attention when I went in here. Oh, okay, I see. It was one of these, and you know, you can go back. Okay, okay, okay. Now I see. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that was definitely my bad. I just, yeah, I just spaced out. I just was still amazed with my dodging skills there. <laughs> Very cool. And nice. I'm definitely liking this. I want more ice block puzzles. Like, damn, like, as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> I wouldn't mind if the whole stage was, you know, just built with these ice blocks here. Man, I love this. I love this gimmick item so much. I'm so happy they added them. It's definitely one of the coolest gimmick items. Like, this whole patch has had some of the coolest gimmick patch gimmicks gimmick items. Ugh. In a long ass time. I, I really dig this. And geez, we're up on 30 minutes on the recording timer. Geez, this stage is even longer than the first one. Hmm. Oh. Okay, okay, I see. We just gotta do some quick sliding here. Very nice, very nice. Huh. Yeah, I'm just going to away this guy here. 
And then we're just going here. Okay, pretty cool, pretty cool. It was a little bit uh, hairy there, but yeah, I managed, I managed. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, okay. We're gonna regroup her a little bit. You know, just mislead the missile. <laughs> mislead the heat missile. Oh! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> mislead the heat seeking missile. Oh my god, that's a tongue twister. Uh. Okay, okay. Mm hmm. So just jump here, go back. Uh, pretty nice, pretty nice. This guy here is a little bit easier. Alright. <laughs> you know what, I wonder what happens if we do this here. Uh, okay, that was disappointing. <laughs> I definitely thought there would be more damage. Okay, that's it. That's what I was expecting in the first one. But yeah. Yeah, <laughs> can't have that. We gotta try and do this properly here. All right, nice. How do we do this now? Probably just... <gasps> <Ooh. laughs> okay, okay. I'm still fine. I'm fine. Do not accidentally shoot more of the ice blocks here, please. Whoa, okay, that's not good. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Jesus Christ. Okay, okay. This here is quite exciting. We can just... Yeah, nice. Slide over there. Hmm. Nice. Okay. And yeah, we gotta be careful. There! <laughs> there is bound to be more of those little flying guys coming in. And then I just fail. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Oh, it's that scream. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Let's try this again. I believe we just shot him up last time. And then, yeah, this guy here is coming. Ooh, okay, yeah. You don't want to move too fast in here. Like, yeah, I can't. I can't be playing like this. I need to calm down a little bit. <laughs> Cutting back. <laughs> okay, back here again. This time, it's going a lot better. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, now. We did not die too far back from here, so... Yeah. Yeah, I loved it! Like, see, you jump on the ice block, it cracks, you fall down on the second one, it cracks, you jump out, up, shoot the enemy, and then quickly escape from the first ice block there, or the, the one that was about to break. Like, this has a very nice flow to it, I feel like. It's very dangerous, but it has a nice flow to it. Yeah. Yeah, I like that section. Very cool, very cool. I probably shouldn't have died twice there though, that was kind of sloppy of me, but you know. <laughs> hmm, and this feels very reminiscent of one of Tyler's older boss fights here. I feel like I have fought this Iceman before. Yeah, I also think Spheria gave this boss some flack <laughs> for being unfair. I think, I might be wrong. I should not quote people, you know, without reading their posts. Um, carefully but yeah like I can see if people would have trouble with this one but like really as long as you don't move around too much on the conveyor here like if you move around and try and you know jump out here while you're on the conveyor then you're pretty much yeah dooming yourself like if you just do what I did there stand up against the wall you know this room like it's pretty much easier than a regular Iceman fight because yeah he, he can actually he cannot walk up to you as you you know, you sit there because, you know, he's bo boxed in in the little room there, so, yeah. Whoops. Yeah, let's see what we have behind here. Behind door number two. <laughs> okay, but whatever, that's stupid. Oh, so stupid, so st freaking stupid. I'm so stupid at times, Jesus Christ. Okay, Crystal Man, or whatever. Prism Man. Dude, stop taking damage. This guy only takes one hit as well. Um, I wonder if this is the final boss, or if there is more stage after this. And also, I also wonder, like, why is this guy in Dr. Light's lab? Like, is this like, maybe this is some kind of mission, you know, to... Whoa, he just jumped on my ass there. Maybe this is some kind of mission to... How should we say? 
recover the light station. Maybe it has been overrun, you know, by the bad guys here and, you know, you need to save light and, yeah, all of that good stuff. <laughs> that would make sense now that I think about it. Whoa, okay. Dude, come on, prison guy. Oh my god, dude, this is such a tricky room. Jeez. And actually, I can I, I can uh, go and grab the E tank back here too. Um, let's do that actually. Very nice. And yeah, wow, 36 minutes. Um, this is going to be such a long video. Maybe I'll just use an E tank or you know try and find his weakness so just so that we don't get too long a video. Like I don't need to prove myself. I have beaten this guy. Buster only so many times in the past Then again, I guess it's kind of tradition, so Yeah, but this week against this, okay. Yeah, I'm just going to use this weapon uh, <laughs> I don't really want to drag this out any more than I have to But yeah, this made it a whole lot easier <laughs> All right Let's see what we have up ahead here. Oh Maybe this is like a the ending, and this is where the third stage will start. Maybe. Huh. Okay, interesting, interesting. So, yeah, that was indeed the final boss. Okay, well, I hope you don't mind that I beat him with the weapon there, but yeah. Like, let's face it, we... we <laughs> well, seen me beat all these guys with, without weaknesses, like... I don't know in how many hundred videos, like... <laughs> it's definitely not all that hard, like... <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to get it done with... Uh, this video is running to be so long, like, yeah. Yeah, that's just my excuse for that, so... <laughs> okay, but yeah, either way, like, very cool stage. Construction stage, or construction section, you know, very st started out very nice with these visuals there. Um, but my favorite, though, definitely, you know, once again, like, I'm thinking about the Fire One. The Fire One had some cool gimmicks, too, like... Yeah, I, that... <laughs> the freaking Firewall section, that was freaking tight <laughs> and yeah it had some nice visuals there too when you move through that fire machine i believe i called it i remember that specifically <laughs> that was pretty cool and yeah like the ice section like yeah just definitely the coolest one like that one long section in the very end where you had two or, those, two or three of those seal enemies and the gyres kept creeping up on you and you know you could yeah, you had to jump and shoot in specific patterns and so that it would play out nicely. Like, yeah, it, it was just, it was definitely my favorite area there, like, ac across both the first and second part here. So, yeah, um, yeah, like, very cool stage. Um, I, Once again, like, I feel like it gets a very low score just because of the sheer length and the sheer difficulty of the stage. But, you know, it still is very well built, so, yeah. Very nicely put together stages here, Tyler, so... Yeah, definitely worthy of a thumbs up, so... Yeah, I'll be awaiting for the third stage and we'll go through that one as well, so yeah! <laughs> Thank you guys for watching and have a nice day!